These stops are attractive to business owners evaluating succession options as they provide meaningful benefits to all core stakeholders, selling shareholders, the company itself, and the employees. I'm Will Stewart with PCE Investment Bankers. Welcome to ESOP University. Today, we'll give you a high-level overview of the tax benefits for sellers to ESOPs. If you're interested in more specific ESOP information, please visit our website link in the video details or view our other ESOP University videos. Much like selling your company to a third party, ESOPs are established by selling all or a part of your business. The big difference is, in this case, you are selling it to your employees through an ESOP trust. The majority of company sales are taxable events to the selling shareholder. Any business owner who sells their company for a gain, no matter the buyer, will be subject to taxation on the proceeds from the sale. The structure of that sale will dictate how much tax the business owner will owe. In an asset sale, which is often an advantage to the buyer, the proceeds will usually be taxed at a blend of capital gains and ordinary income tax rates. In the sale of stock, which is often an advantage to the seller, the seller will only pay capital gains taxes. A sale to an ESOP guarantees a stock sale, which is already an advantage to the seller. It also potentially allows the seller to defer or avoid all capital gains taxes on the sale of their business. This tax advantage is unique to ESOPs. It is a strategy that comes with some complexity, but the potential tax savings can be significant. The ability to defer or avoid your capital gains taxes is governed by Internal Revenue Code Section 1042, which is similar to Code Section 1031 for those of you familiar with the ability to defer capital gains taxes on real estate transactions. In the case of 1042, the qualified replacement property is securities rather than real estate. Please watch our video on 1042 for more details on the strategy. Also, please watch our video on tax benefits for the ESOP-owned company. While there may not be a direct benefit to the business center, having a tax-advantaged or tax-exempt company can provide many indirect benefits for all parties. Thank you for joining me on this episode of ESOP University. We appreciate your interest in ESOPs. If you have additional questions, please reach out to us anytime.